Yo, what's good? Today we're gonna make this artwork and first of all I'm gonna break it down how I did it and then we're gonna make it from scratch. So this artwork was really inspired by Dan Barkley. Uh, it's from Sun and Flesh. What I really like about this art is the texture is it's like so minimal but it's you you still can see it it's not like super crazy it's like it shows just a little bit it's it's nearly full black but it's not full black you get me so and then the details were uh especially this hand uh i really like the threshold sort of noise grunge effect to it so i wasn't intentionally making it but as soon as I started working on the art, I kind of understood that this was the inspiration. So all we're gonna need for this art is just two pictures, two details and the texture. That's it. That's the most simplest cover art ever. And where can you find these? Well, I have a Pinterest account. There's like 2000 pins. You can find me at Zvaimio and just click on all the pins and you can scroll through this like for hours there's so much inspiration and so much vintage stuff that that you you're probably gonna find something that you like so you just gotta find a couple pictures from here maybe some details stuff like this and then just implement it in your art so this was the picture i used i used this hand picture it reminded me of this hand from Don barclay and I'm gonna leave a link to this pin in the description. So let's start. Uh, all I have a uh, text with nearly no effects to it. We have a detail on top of the text, some more details, and then this grungy picture, which is combined of two pictures. And then just a little bit of textures on whites and the textures on blacks. And then I just topped it off with a little bit of noise. So it's really simple and I'm gonna show you all the small details that I did. So we're gonna start a new project. Just make sure it's 3K and 3K and make sure it's RGB and you can click with create. So the first thing I do is add a black color and you can go here and choose solid color and just choose black. So now the text for this art was nightfall so the font that I used for this was Republica Minor 2.0. I have no idea where I found it. It's probably on some website. And I'm gonna link this font in my Discord. So check that out. And we're gonna place it somewhere here. Usually what I like to do is grab a rectangle, hold shift, and just create this square just so I can see my boundaries. I use it as white. And you can click on Ctrl A, put it in the middle, Ctrl D to deselect. And now we can make it a little bit bigger, or I, I think it's enough. Just lower the opacity. And now you have like a imaginary border that you know where, where should everything be. So we're gonna put it like right here. We're gonna add a detail and I'm gonna show you why in a second. So this was very accidental, I didn't know why, but I just thought that these people would look sick on top of the name. And what I recommend to doing is adding detail to your text, because if you have an artwork and it's just a name, it, it can look boring sometimes, but if you add some details to your text, it will make your artwork really interesting. So you can see here, uh, I have a text, but I also added this Chinese stuff. And I don't know what it is, but you don't either. So, but it looks cool. And you know, without it, like it wouldn't look as sick. And here you can see the opium cover. It was just a text, but I added this arrow and it made it look a little bit interesting more. Here we have a library called uh, strings and things. And what did I do? I added a string. Sensational. <laughs> Amazing job. So some little things like this will make your artwork just a little bit more interesting. For example, here we have just a text, but I added this shiny thing and now it looks like nothing else. You know, it doesn't look like a basic text. It looks something, something different. Here, for example, I had just a name and I put a sword through the text, like a kebab or something. And 
I don't know if it looks super good, but you know, it's just something that something different, you know. So think with your head, try to get creative, and you will be rewarded. I wanted to make this black, white, and red because I love red so much, and I wanted to just have a black and white cover art with red accent. So we're gonna turn these people into red. First of all, we're gonna invert the picture, Control I, and now we're gonna get rid of the black color by using Control M. And we're gonna switch this just to get rid of the black color. Now we have pink people, and we're gonna use Control U, bring the hue to make them red. We're gonna increase the saturation just to see the actual color. Yeah, this is red. And we're gonna bring the situation back to zero. So now we have red people and we don't need this text. So we're gonna use this polygonal lasso tool. We're just gonna cut the people out. You can hold shift uh, while cutting to make it easier. And when you finish, just hold control and click and it's done. So now we're gonna go here to clipping mask, just click it, now it's gone. So this you can delete, you don't need it. So now it's only the people. And we're gonna put them just on top of the text. And you see the black is covering the text, so we're gonna put it as screen. And now it's game time, baby. We can do anything here. The idea is to put like the hand to somehow touch the letters. So maybe, yeah, I think this looks good. And I think it's a little bit pink. Yeah, so you see this already looks a lot better than with, without the text. So now we're gonna add a detail. I don't know why did I add it, but I really like globes. And I have this PNG and we're gonna turn it here. So the picture that we're gonna have, it has like this threshold effect and it, it looks like something different. It, some people don't understand, but the globe is a very popular detail. Like you can see it in any design. So it's about combining something very popular and something like completely different, something unpopular. And just combining them together, it brings a, a very cool design. So with the help of this background square, we can see that this is a little bit too big. So we're gonna hold control, select all these, control T, and just make it a little bit smaller. And we're gonna put the cloak a little bit to the right. So here you go, we have a good base. Now we only need to add the pictures. And feel free to use any pictures that you like just make sure that they they work with the threshold because not all the pictures work with threshold make sure to put the picture uh, under all the layers because threshold gonna affect all the layers beneath it now we're gonna go to the adjustments and to threshold and you see, now it looks like, what the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna try invert it because it's too wide. Control I. Yeah, you see, now it looks a lot better. These little details is what I wanna see. And overall, it looks very interesting. So I'm gonna double click and just move this around. This looks good, uh, yeah, but we need space for the second picture, so I wanna just cut it a bit. You can select it and just press Ctrl X and it will cut it. If you like the previous one, you can press Ctrl Z, it's gonna bring back, and Ctrl D to deselect. So now it's time for the second picture. And I really didn't know what to use. I was looking for pictures and some of them weren't working. But the good thing is when you are on Pinterest, just download pictures that you like, that you don't gonna even use, just so you have a collection of random pictures. You see, these all pictures are downloaded by me. So when I work, I have 
a lot of different ideas bunched into one and I can use anything. So it was very random. I found this, this picture. It looks like this without the threshold. So we're gonna use Ctrl M to get rid of the black color. Yeah, maybe just boost a little bit of the height. And I'm gonna apply the threshold to it. You see threshold, there's not enough white color for the threshold to work with it. So we're gonna con press Ctrl M again, and we're gonna boost the whites as much as we need to. And you see it's coming along. We can also bring back the, the darks so we can, you see it makes it a little bit more crisp when you lower the, the dark. So once you like the effect, you can just press OK. And usually you would press screen, but this time, uh, because of like overlapping, I, I thought that I would use it as normal and just cut it. And you see how the square really helps you out. It makes you understand where you are. Uh, and now you see the leg is a little bit over it and we can put it as normal. And if we just use the cutting tool and just go so Ctrl X to delete it. And you see it will overlap this picture and I think it will make it really good. You can also clean up all the little white speckles. You can use a eraser tool and just make it a little bit bigger and it will be easier just to delete these small speckles. So now we have a really good clean cover. We just need to add the effects and textures. And we're gonna start off with the pictures. Uh, I don't wanna do too much. If we take a look at Dutton Barkley, he put the copy scan texture on top of the whites. It gave a cool effect. But I think for this one, uh, I bought Studio Nate printed textures and it has a really cool thing as toners. And what it does, it just affects the white color and you see it's kind of, it's very weird, but it looks like this if you invert it. Like is this printed noise somewhere and if you put it on the white, it just makes it a little bit grungy. And we want to affect the text and the detail as well, so we're gonna put it over and now it affects everything. Uh, you see, uh, when you use pictures from internet, and you use them as JPEG, they all always have like a little bit of blur to it. Like you see, they're not fully clear, even this PNG. So when you have a text that looks like super sharp, it makes it stand out and it's not a good thing, at least in my opinion. I think you should just round, round it off so it looks natural. So we're gonna use Nightfall and we're gonna convert it to a smart object. Now we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you can use one or two, even three, but three is like for super vintage. So I'm gonna use just one, I think it's gonna be enough. Now it looks a little bit natural. So now I think only thing left to do is add the texture on top, and you can use any textures. I, I was looking for like a very simple texture, like not a lot, just so you can barely see it, but it's still there. And I found this from Vintage Papers. We're gonna stretch it by using Alt and Shift. You see the texture is like, there's not much going on, so it's perfect. We're gonna press Ctrl I to invert it. Ctrl Shift U to desaturate it. And now Ctrl M to make it darker I want it to like be super little like you can barely see I think there's gonna be enough and we're just gonna press screen and now you see there's not much to it like the the white is not completely white it has some texture and the background is not completely black like it has a little bit of gray in it and those little details will make your artwork like look a little bit better now we're gonna press Control shift 
can select all the layers and we're gonna group them and we're gonna hold alt and duplicate it now we're gonna convert it to a smart object uh, and here you will see the actual results of threshold why we duplicate it so that we we can do changes to this layer for example invert it and do anything to it but if we, we want to go back we can always work with these layers so this is like a safe check so with this you can press ctrl m and play around with the darks and the whites you can invert it you can change the hue but what i did for this is i wanted to just bring the texture a little bit lighter so i went to filter noise add noise and i added five of gaussian monochromatic noise this is the finished product it looks very similar to the original if you have any questions about the artwork, just put them down in the comments. And I just dropped uh, a lot of artwork on Instagram. So if you are interested in any of them to be broken down, just DM me or, or leave a comment. And in the next video, I'll break down the next art.